So the day has come. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm going to go for my dream. It's going to start today. I've had this dream of owning a cafe, Korean fusion cafe in Germany for the last eight years. I think I think about it at least like 50 times a week. And I don't talk about it too much, but the last few months, I've been talking a lot about it. You know what people say to me? Do it. I'll come. I mean, I already have a customer base. And most of my friends, they're like, do it. I'll help you. I'll work for you. And I have a friend who's willing to move to where I live so that she can work for me. And I'm like, what am I waiting for? And the, the thing that really kickstarted this video was watching a <coughs> interview of a French chef. He's a French Michelin star two chef in a ski resort. I forgot the name of it. He opened it, I think, in 2002. And you know what? He skis to work. <laughs> and I thought, that is awesome. He's like, I love to ski. I can't imagine my life without skiing. And so he built, I don't know, he maybe he bought it. Uh, it's like a ski resort, hotel, restaurant. He goes to work every day. Or actually, he skis to work. And I thought, that's so awesome. That's not the awesome part. Well, his food looks fantastic, too. The three-course menu is 75 euros. That's hefty, but I would try it. I'll save my money. I'll go to places like that. Um, what got me, What really touched me was that when he took his daughter to kindergarten, he saw what she was eating, and he was like, no, this cannot be. Guess what? He's the chef of his daughter's kindergarten now. He's like, my daughter's going to eat well, and so are her friends. He didn't like something, and he just changed it. It's like, go to the grocery store, get some supplies, and be the chef for my daughter's kindergarten. He didn't even think about it. He just did it. And I'm like, I've been sitting on my... Well, I haven't been sitting. I've been doing a lot of things. I got a lot of things accomplished writing a manuscript and sending it off to Los Angeles a month ago. So I'm not just sitting and not doing anything, but I have had this dream in the back of my mind for years and I'm going to start today. I'm going to take steps. I'm going to create these videos maybe once or twice a week, give you guys an update, give myself an update on where I am, what I'm doing, what resources I use, what works for me and what doesn't. Maybe talking about what people say to me, what kind of advice I give. I'm going to ask for advice from everybody I know. And you know what? I'm going to use free resources. YouTube has the most amazing you know, people giving out free advice. And I've worked in retail, in restaurants. I worked for one of the biggest companies in the world, EDS, um, over 10 years ago. I've, uh, you know, amassed this, you know, incredible base of knowledge, and I'm going to put it to use, you know, in creating and living my dream. Not part of my dream, but every single thing that I want, I want to put it into this restaurant. From how many hours I work, with what kind of people that I work with, what kind of food I serve, what kind of customers that I want to have, what kind of lights, what everything. I want to create a business plan where I put down every single thing that I really want. I will not compromise. You know, I thought of this, um, this quote this morning, build it and they shall come. You know what? I'm going to take that maxim and just put it to use and see what happens. And I'm going to be doing this on a daily basis, taking one step, you know, at a, at a time to get to my dream. So it's business plan, checking out locations, talking to people, maybe even, even apprenticing myself at a restaurant. I signed up for a barista class in March in Munich. It's a three or four hour class. 
how to make a perfect espresso. Um, in Europe, you have to know how to make a perfect cup. So if you don't, they will not come to your cafe. Keep, this is the elixir of life in Europe, coffee, espresso, or cappuccino. It is an art form. I mean, it's like, you know, people pride themselves on making the perfect cup of joe. I mean, it's just like the stratosphere of coffee making in Europe has exceeded my my dream of having the perfect cup. I never drank coffee in, in America because every time I tasted it, it was like, it's gross. You know, even, okay, Pete's, I used to drink a few few cups of coffee there. I liked it. And I went back and had a cup there and I can drink it. I know there are peat lovers out there, so I'm sorry. But once you try coffee in Europe, you can't drink coffee in America. You know? It's just, you know, European people call American coffee like brown water. And they're not being mean. It's just it really does taste like that. Um, so I'm taking that class in March. So I've already taken steps in creating my dream. So this is my first video and I'm going to update myself, check in with myself through these videos where I'm at. I'm taking steps every day and I would, I would say to myself in these videos what steps I've taken and what my <coughs> next steps are. Just getting over a cold, drinking my juice, fresh pressed carrot, celery, apple, and pineapple juice. Okay. I would love to open a raw food restaurant too, but that'll be later. Um, anyway, so that's my goal. And I hope that whoever is watching, um, give me your, your intake. Uh, on this and what do you do or how would you start or if you already have done it what advice can you give someone who's just starting out so thanks and see you soon